the channel and back to another video now in today's video we are going to install finally these lowering links that i purchased on ebay i will be leaving the information in the description box below where you guys can go and purchase these lowering links for your ml63 amg this video is not going to be a diy because i do not know how to install these and i am not taking a chance to install these i'm going to have a professional install these his name is lester he is the ceo of sidewalk stands guys a little backstory on lester could you imagine that he started out doing airbags on the sidewalk and that's how he came up with the name for his company sidewalk stands he has been doing suspension for over for years now so he's pretty good at what he does kudos to lester um he's actually waiting for me right now to come to the shop so we can go ahead and install these links on the ml guys finally the ml is gonna get lower i'm gonna lower it like about an inch inch and a half nothing too crazy so i still have you know a decent ride quality so without further ado let's jump into the installation guys please remember to like comment subscribe share my video and turn on the post notification so you guys can get notified when i post feature videos all right so let's get into it so i just pulled up at sidewalk sands this is his new location over here by i think he's on we were at chester right Chester and Newport, Newport. This is Lester here. And remember, he has a, ba a long backstory. I did tell you his backstory, and he he has finally came to this. So you know, I mean, kudos to him. This is what the the right height looks like right now. So I'm gonna probably go uh, five or ten millimeter front and back to see what the drop looks like after. All right, so Lester, we're gonna go ahead and start the installation. So right now basically what he's doing is putting all the parts together. He also has his measuring his measuring thing right there. So you know, you know, he's he's legit. And the, the manual says for every five millimeter you lower the car, it's a three quarters to an inch. So I'm gonna probably go like around five to ten millimeter drop. All right, guys, so Lester went ahead and jacked up the car. I'm going to show you where the link is located. So the link is right here. This is for the front, this is the front link. So it's really easy to get to, so you don't really have to remove the, um, the tires or the wheels, per se, to get to the link on this car. So the link is right there. All right, so basically, Lester, he already started removing the link. So what, what tool do you need to remove the link? Three quarter and a 10. Three quarter and a 10? Yeah. A three eighths on it, sorry. Three eighths and a 10 millimeter, right? Yeah. And these are wrenches he's using. So basically this is what the link look like. So it looks like it does come with a drop. You so see? I just, take, I just take like this one and do it like this. This one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's actually it's actually longer. You see. Yeah. So I think so, I'm gonna I'm gonna work with the same drop. So same now. drop and drop it and then see what it looks like, right? So basically, by we comparing the link together, the factory link is actually longer than the aftermarket link. So the aftermarket link does come with a drop already, as you guys can see. So he just removed this from the factual link. So now he's gonna install it to the aftermarket link. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it back onto the car. So you wanna use the setup that came from eBay, how low it is, and then we go from there. So we're not making any adjustment right now. Now he's making sure both links measure the same. So this is what, 44 millimeter? Yeah. And this is 44, the same, same millimeter. So the front is gonna be the same. You want BMW the other day? Oh, yeah, the 7 Series. Oh, the 7 Series? Yeah. Oh, okay. So now what he's doing is put the link back. 
And the same way how you take it off is the same way you basically put it back on if you're doing it yourself. Okay guys, so um, he's gonna explain what he's doing right now. So basically what- I'm trying to put up the new one with the color this. And this is too short. So I okay. gotta change this and put this. Okay. So I gotta take it back down, the right way to do it, not to break nothing. Take it back down. Mm -hmm. And pull out this and pull back the next one and put it back. Okay. So guys, so basically, like he said, what he's gonna do is gonna take out this and reuse it on the aftermarket one because the aftermarket screws is too short. So if you buy these, that's what you're gonna have to do. All right, so this is what it looks like. So this side is completed, as you guys can see, everything is it's fitted perfectly. So now the links, but like I said, I'm going to leave the stock right high. So if I need to go lower, I can always adjust it. All right, so now he's going to start the rear. So basically what he's doing is jacking up the rear. So you're going to take off the wheels to get to the, right. you got to go underneath, right? Hmm? I don't know, it's it, whatever is it for you. I mean, it don't matter because you gotta take off, you're gonna do the brakes, so might as well just take off the rim. Give me, you have any key on the wheel? Alright, guys, so to make it much easier, we went ahead and removed the wheel from the hub. Where's the link at? So to get to the link, the link is all the way in the back. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to record, but the link is all the way in the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's easier for me to pop one side. Uh -huh. It's easier for me to pop one side and uh -huh. take the next side out. Okay. Alright. So let's do the measurement now to see. Like this. That's 98 millimeter. So I have to listen a little. Okay? It's a little. Yeah. Okay, so let me compare the rear link. So this is the rear link. So the factual link is a little bit longer. It's not much though. But that will make a big difference. Though. Huh? It will make a big difference. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we're going to use the same... Yeah, use them like this. Take like this. Okay. Yeah. All right.
Okay guys, so FYI, so I didn't know that Sidewalk Sun, they actually have like a rap guy over here that raps car. Right now he's, he's rapping a G37, right? That G35. Guys, he's pretty nice at what he does. As you can see, he removes the panels and stuff like that off the car when he's wrapping the car. So you know you're going to get a good wrap. So everything is basically underneath, as you guys can see. Uh huh. It's tucked right underneath. You have an Instagram? Yeah. Sidewalk Customs. Sidewalk Customs. Sidewalk Customs. Yeah. Okay, great. So sidewalk, sidewalk Sidewalk Customs. Yeah. If you need. Sidewalk Sidewalk Customs. Okay, great. Okay, guys. So. The installation is finally complete of the lower links. So I'm going to show you. The car is lowered right now, so I'm going to show you what the car looks like on the lower links. All right, guys, so that's the lower links. I can't believe the car looks a whole lot better, sits better, it's more attractive. Like I said, guys, the ride quality remains the same. Nothing changed about the ride quality, guys.